One morning, the fat troll and his grandchildren came to see Toby. Shorby, you're a very naughty engine. So I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. No! Much better! They came to a small CCRC station. Soon, the children were inspecting a splendid castle, but the miners didn't know that. This is lovely, said Stephen. What was that? asked Bridget. I don't know, said Stephen. The guard will tell us. The fat controller inspected it. My word, that's a very fast ankle car. Say, replied the children, nearly I am not a hit, and they showed him a map. Hmm, pondered the fat controller. They met the worst at the horse. Come on, we're going exploring. It will be a gay adventure. Seuss. Soon they were in the wildest part of the island. They stopped by a lonely signal box. The fat controller's plans were soon put into action, but Toby was still worried. I'm sure this place is my place, he said to himself. Toby. Oh, stuttered Toby. Beware of Patty. Smile, Toby. Thomas said. What Patty? Smile, asked Toby. The warrior every night she lights her fire, then goes hunting. Toot toot, goodbye to you, Thomas replied. And the fireman came. Toby looked anxiously around. Everything seemed rather spooky. Quite suddenly, he heard a strange wheezing sound. It's Patty Smythe, he wailed. What Patty Smythe, his driver asked. It's the warrior. She's come to hunt me down. Toby bravely made his way. Well, bless my bell, he exclaimed. There in front of him was Duke's brother. Silly horse. This is your ghost, Toby, said the one man. His name's really Bertram, but we call him the warrior because he loves Patty Smythe. Bertram and Toby are now firm friends. They take the visitors from behind, as the loads are too heavy for one engine to do the work alone. If there are any warriors here, they certainly help to make Patty Smythe very happy. Thought